to grow. I've been working with the Science Kaylee to try and produce a Kaylee dance to explain this. Plants use light to produce energy and they do this through a process called photosynthesis. This takes place inside a chloroplast which live in the plant cells and these are what makes leaves green. So we can look at a leaf underneath a microscope and see the chloroplast. So plants use the light, carbon dioxide and water to produce energy, sugars and the oxygen we breathe. Photosynthesis takes place in two different processes, but only one of them needs light. And this is the light-dependent reaction. And this is where our dance strip the leaf begins. To start with, light hits the chlorophyll molecules inside something called photosystem 2 and starts exciting the electrons. The excited electrons are then passed down a series of molecules called an electron transport chain. Energy is lost from the electrons as they go, and this is stored by changing ADP into ATP. The electrons then pass to photosystem 1, which reacts to a different wavelength of light. This re-excites the electrons and they're passed along another electron transport chain by changing ADP into ATP. Next, they join a molecule which also helps store energy called NADP+. Water, or H2O, enters the equation and reacts with the newly energised NADP+. The NADP+, takes the H+, or protons, from H2O, becoming NADPH and releasing oxygen and two electrons. These electrons are then recycled to begin the whole process again. Okay, so one more time through. Light excites electrons within photosystem 2. The electrons are then passed down an electron transport chain, changing ADP into ATP. They then come to photosystem 1 and are re-excited to a higher energy level. They're passed up another electron transport chain, again changing ADP into ATP. They then join a molecule called NADP+. This then reacts with water, taking the H+, and releasing oxygen and two electrons, ready to start again. So that was all about the light dependent part of the reaction. But now we're back in the lab, we can think about the light independent part of the reaction. And this is where ATP and NADPH that we've just made can be used to produce glucose or sugars that help the plant to grow, but also make them tasty. So inside here is what I study. So this is the algae I study, and they're single cells called coccolithophores. Not only do they photosynthesize, but they lock away carbon dioxide in the intricate scales that they make. They live in the sea and form beautiful blooms that can reflect the sun's rays, just like the polar ice caps. Not only do they do that, but they also lock away the carbon dioxide when the scales float towards the sea floor, and this can really help with global warming. It's not bad work for a single cell.